I'll be honest, this is one thing that really bugs me about this culture. They'll never admit that they're wrong or that they lied. A woman security screener at Nyaya was caught on camera swallowing someone's money, but she's trying to claim it was chocolate. In the F-Bar and Cafe incident, the guy was caught on camera making a pass at a child, yet he's still lying and said that he just said hello. Even though the camera footage showed him approaching her twice while she was waiting in line and he and his friends laughing. I noticed people here would rather die than admit that they were wrong or that they lied. We all make mistakes. The honorable thing to do would be to fess up and atone for it. Edit. Oh, and they love to play victim even if they were in the wrong. What is considered rude in the Philippines, but normal in your country? So, let's check out some comments. In the Philippines, it's normal for a store employee to stalk you when you enter an electronics store. Not cool in the US. Giving someone space and going off on your own when they are giving you the silent treatment. I learned recently that Tampo is actually an invitation for more affection. Not a way of saying, I don't want to see you for a while. Filipinos get offended when you are straightforward with them. Especially the older generation because they think they know better because they've been there before. Criticism is considered rude in Philippines. This bugs the crap out of me about Filipinos here. Recently, my neighbor was making posts on Facebook crying about how PLDT shut off her internet, presumably due to non-payment. Lord, guide me through this. God is taking me through a dark season. Lord Almighty, help me, etc. Then not more than two days later, I see pictures of her and her friends at an expensive restaurant and at the beach. I also see her brother, he lives with her, posting pictures out and about with his friends. Even if someone else paid for it, why isn't she working to get the extra money she needs? The capacity of these people to whine and be lazy at the same time is mind-boggling. I work six days a week to make sure my wife and I's needs are met. Why can't they do the same? I know there's poverty here, but if you need money, then you need to work, period. What do you like about the Philippines? I'm trying to convince myself and my wife to go back home, even for just a couple of years. We're both Filipino-Americans. What do you guys love about the Philippines that made you move there? All right, let's check out the comments. Life is much simpler, if province. I am marrying a Filipina, and I personally love the Philippines. If you have sufficient capital, then housing is very cheap and affordable. Not bad. Nice to have some positivity in the video. Enjoy this moment while it lasts. Why are Filipinos so fat? Compared to other Asians, using a throwaway for obvious reasons. I'd never ask this in real life, but it's something I'm curious about. I've been to many different countries such as Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam in Asia, and I've never seen so many overweight or obese people as I have in the Philippines. I'm curious if anyone knows the reason, and I don't want to hear the poverty excuse either. I just got back from the farmer's market and got a giant grocery bag full of vegetables for less than I would have spent buying two meals at McDonald's. In Vietnam, their average salary is lower than in the Philippines, yet they are slim. Most feedback on this topic points to diet and limited exercise opportunities. It's a valid point, particularly concerning sugar. I know the OP didn't want to hear about poverty, but poverty often forces people to eat whatever is available, fostering unhealthy eating habits like binge eating and sugar addiction. What's your biggest WTF moment here in the Philippines? I remember a few years ago an ex and I went to get a massage, and the massage person stepped on my glasses, even though they were under the table, and broke them. Not only did the shop not offer to pay for them, they didn't even say sorry. When I went to the police, her reaction was to get angry with me, hence why she's my ex. Okay, let us check out some comments. Getting invited out to dinner at a diner-style restaurant by my ex and thinking so nice of them to treat me to a night out. About 20 of her friends, family, I suppose lol, showed up and gobbled up about 8,000 pesos worth of food in about 20 minutes, and soon it was just me and the waiters left in the area we were sitting in. I was then presented with the full bill for everyone. I don't think anyone said a word to me the whole time. When I, first, dated a girl in a mall, she had brought half her family, expecting to be treated, and a prepared grocery list for after. They all went home empty-handed without treats and groceries and had wasted jeepney fares. I have no mercy for those kinds of people. I saw a baby, maybe nine, ten months old, alone on a piece of cardboard on the sidewalk. I didn't know what to do, so I just waited there. Fifteen, twenty minutes later, the mother came back, like WTF.